Running one of the largest tech-based YouTube channels is James Hobson, or also known as The Hacksmith. He worked as a full-time mechanical engineer and product developer before committing full-time to his YouTube channel in 2015. He first started on YouTube in April of 2006 under the name Master James, sharing parkour videos and backflip tutorials. At the age of 16, a backflip tutorial video he did in exchange for a t-shirt sponsorship in 2016 even went viral. Hobson was fascinated by this, but he never thought it would make a good career. It was difficult for anyone to work with YouTube at the time in order to earn money. In addition, Hobson had less time for backflips because of his growing interest in engineering. A few years after his backflip stunt, he decided to focus on sharing the process of creating prototypes of props inspired by superhero movies and video games. Now, the channel Hacksmith Industries is nearing 13 million subscribers and has more than 1 billion overall views. He has 21 employees composed of video editors, engineers, and production managers. His team operates in a 13,000 square foot production facility in Kitchener, Canada. James has worked with 20th century studios and Warner Brothers, promoting upcoming films and video games by bringing science fiction technology to life. His most watched video which has received over 40 million views is a replica of Thor's Stormbreaker. The Hacksmith Industries team's commitment to producing top-notch material that is both educational and entertaining is one of the factors contributing to the channel's success. The Hacksmith team spends a lot of time and energy planning and studying their projects and they use top-notch tools and production methods to document and share their work. Additionally, the crew tries to interact with their viewers and foster a sense of community on their channel. They love meeting fans and meeting them in person at events. James was initially self-taught. According to him, the best way to learn is by doing. It doesn't matter what you do as long as you start doing something. He started within his parents' 30 square feet basement and eventually expanded. He is creative and motivated. However, it didn't come easily. For the first couple of years, he didn't get much attention. He was putting out content, but having a hard time finding an audience. But in 2014, he finally started receiving a lot of attention after his 16 part video called Make It Real Elysium Exoskeleton, The Big Test. In the video, James tried to recreate the top half of the exoskeleton from the movie Elysium. It's not as functional as in the movie, but it was still incredibly impressive. It's the sort of technology that you'll see used in government and corporate projects. People were amazed. Within three three days, the video had over 500,000 views, and he was even invited to appear on the Discovery Channel. The channel doubled in size after that viral video. From 20,000 subscribers, it grew to 40,000. He eventually continued investing in tools and equipment. He bought a house with an 1,800 square foot garage on the site for its shop, taking out a sizable mortgage from the bank. During this time, he was still working as a full-time product developer. Well, I have a Bachelor's of Engineering that I received from Constable College, where I studied Mechanical Systems Engineering. After receiving a Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Systems engineering from Conestoga College in Ontario, Canada in 2012, he began his work as an engineer and product developer. James's plate was stacked. He was working as a product developer and was also writing for Hackaday.com a website that posts short summaries of interesting engineering products. The pressure coming in from making content as a YouTuber and his full-time and part-time jobs was taking a toll. Hobson asked his manager for permission to work three or four days a week, which he believed to be a reasonable request. It was approved by his manager, the director, and the senior director of engineering, but the vice president of the business and the HR division declined. About a month ago, I actually quit my full-time job to focus on YouTube and exoskeletons full-time. In November 2015, he finally decided to leave his job as a product developer and focus only on YouTube. He started working with his good friend Ian Hillier, helping him behind the scenes. If you don't recognize me, I'm Ian. I've been best friends with James and partners in crime since grade nine. Ian has been his friend since high school. They went to college together and worked on projects. In 2007, James and Ian both participated in the Skills Canada Robotics Competition as juniors. They collaborated to create a remote controlled robot that won the national contest. Being full time on YouTube with still a small following means taking a big risk and living off your dwindling savings. For James and Ian, they needed to make it work within six months before their savings ran out. He wasn't making enough money, but James was very passionate about what he was doing. He could work 80 or 90 hours a week, not because he needs to, but because he wanted to. James was earning $100 a month posting videos on YouTube. I quit my job. Okay. Making 100 bucks a month. To generate some additional cash, he decided to engrave cutting boards, coasters, and other housewares with his CNC laser cutter and sell them on Etsy. Fortunately, that period in his life is when everything came together for his YouTube career. Not long after, he went full time. He finally hit 100,000 subscribers. We did it. 100,000 subscribers. His and Ian's hard work had finally paid off. In 2016, James tested his viral Elysium exoskeleton by lifting a Mini Cooper off the ground. Aside from the top half of the early prototype, he also made the legs for it. In the video, James's lifting efforts were entirely relieved by the exoskeleton itself. James notes that despite raising the car's rear end, his legs felt absolutely no strain, 
and the suit took the complete force of the lifting effort. A few months after that, James's exoskeleton was one of the main exhibits at the GTA Collectibles Expo at the Sheridan Center. In May of 2016, they developed a 3,000 pound lifting force copy of Captain America's electromagnetic shield. Prior to the release of Captain America Civil War, they aired the video and it went viral. They were getting more views per minute than they used to have per day. The subscribers were also rapidly increasing from 100,000 to 500,000 subscribers. By the end of the year, they had just under 1 million. All of a sudden, they were a channel of some scale that was generating revenue from YouTube advertisements. The Hacksmith's team will contact agencies with concepts that might appeal to sponsors. If they do, the staff works out the specifics and creates the video. They began receiving sponsorship offers from businesses like LG, Audible, and Google, which allowed them to begin hiring staff. Today, more than 50% of their revenue comes from sponsorships. In July 2017, James and his team built a climate-controlled sleeping capsule that was packed with as much sleeping technology as they could, and the video was sponsored by Casper, a well-known memory foam mattress company. In certain instances, sponsors will purchase items to be featured in the video. For example, in one where they test out an electric jet engine with the ultimate goal of flying like Iron Man. But before the big bucks came raking in, at one point they needed to set up a GoFundMe campaign for an Iron Man project that needed an estimated cost of $75,000. Within six months, they had raised only $3,000. It wasn't enough, but they never gave up. His largest and most expensive project? Probably the world's largest Mjolnir for $100,000. The hammer weighed over 4,000 pounds and took four months to build. In another video, they tested the hammer by dropping it 100 feet from a car and crushing it. Talk about turning your inner child's dream into reality. In addition to these, Hacksmith Industries' other creations include a functional replica of Iron Man's repulsor gauntlet complete with LED lighting and sound effects, a life-sized model of the exosuit from the game Destiny, which was built using 3D printed parts and a custom exoskeleton frame, a working lightsaber, which was created using a high-powered laser and a custom hilt, a prototype of a jetpack using vacuum cleaners to generate lift, a full series on making all of the Mandalorian's different gadgets and armor, they even made a Star Wars fan film following this. Aside from that, they also produced a number of videos making do-it-yourself tech items such as a custom 3D printer and CNC mill, which were built from scratch using various salvaged and donated parts, a variety of custom tools and equipment for use in their workshops such as laser cutters, welders, and drill presses. The videos, which often require hundreds of hours of effort for one project, are meticulously shot and show the entire process from beginning to end. The videos demonstrate the sophisticated engineering required to bring the creations to life. But sometimes, projects will sit on their shelf for months or even years just waiting to be finished. Their creations can also get extremely expensive and require a lot of funding. Early in 2021, James bought an 18-acre plot of land on which he intends to construct a place modelled after the Avengers campus. Hacksmith Engineering Research Campus, or HERC, will be a YouTuber mecca where creators can collaborate. Large art pieces, a collaboration hub, running summer camps, and constructing a soundstage are a few concepts for the new site. James said, I want it to be a creator's mecca, a place for collaborative creation, a place where ideas become reality, a place to help people change the world. Part of my dream long term for Herc is I can be that eccentric CEO who walks in one day and can see project A, B, C, D and F and it's just like the new Batmobile is done. The new property has lots of outside outdoor space for projects and whatnot and we're planning a 30,000 square foot expansion says Hobson. The acreage will allow for some more Mythbusters level projects. You can go out to the field and test a cannon or something. We can't do that right now because we're in the middle of an industrial district. Having that space, I think, is going to be the next paradigm shift for the business, which will be the second big shift because the first shift was moving out of my garage into a real facility 10 times the size. Aside from the channel, James also does talks and keynotes. They sell merchandise and have a Patreon page where people can donate. Every year, their gross revenue doubles. In addition to hiring more people, James hopes to host high school tours, workshops, and events. He said that, In the future, I'd love to invent technology that improves quality of life or enables workers to do superhuman tasks, like I did with my early exoskeleton prototype. But in December last year, the Hacksmith team led by Ian posted a video addressing James's mental health. James has been suffering from depression for well over a decade. Being a highly functioning person with mental health issues whose coping mechanism is through work, he managed to take his business endeavors, including the YouTube channel, to higher levels. However, one can only achieve so much growth while masking the underlying problems. James was living his dream by overworking and never taking a break while still coping with depression. It wasn't healthy. James's depression, along with other medical issues, took a bad turn and the team at Hacksmith is doing their best to support James. James will be stepping back on day-to-day -day operations to focus on getting help. With Ian as head of the team, they'll go back to making projects they're passionate about and not just on sponsorships. Thanks for watching. I'm James. I create short documentary videos every week. Please like and subscribe for future videos. Thanks again and see you on the next one.